the Queen refused to talk about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry during a recent horse riding trip at Balmoral, according to a royal insider. The Queen does not want to talk about the Sussexes according to claims from a royal insider. People spending time with Her Majesty, 93, have reportedly been told not to mention Meghan Markle or Prince Harry. Leading royal expert Quinton Letts tweeted the bombshell remark this week, claiming it was the only subject that was strictly banned from discussion. Letts tweeted on Friday, friend of an acquaintance was about to go riding with HMQ. Was given v firm advice talk about anything except one subject. Brexit. No, the Sussexes. This comes after claims of clashes within the royal family. The Queen was reportedly left deeply disappointed by Meghan and Harry's hostile behavior. Seville royal sources claimed the monarch was not impressed with the way Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have acted since marrying last year. She is reportedly disappointed with their behavior as representatives of the British monarchy around the world. This clash comes after Meghan appeared to snub the Queen's invitation to her Scottish residence Balmoral. The Duchess of Sussex traveled to New York to watch her close friend Serena Williams compete in the US Open final. However, this meant she skipped a visit to Balmoral, particularly the Queen's invite to attend the Highland Games. It was added that Her Majesty is baffled by Meghan and Harry's inability to steer clear of PR blunders. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are the Queen's neighbors, after they moved into Frogmore Cottage in April to be close to Harry's grandmother. However, the refurbishment of Frogmore has cost taxpayers a whopping £2.4 million, sparking a backlash from campaigners. Another controversy erupted after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex kept details of baby Archie's christening, including the names of the godparents, private. Earlier, Meghan shared a new picture of the family for Harry's 35th birthday. Meghan posted a sweet tribute to her husband on Instagram, with a caption that said how much he inspires me every day. She wrote that Harry was the best husband and most amazing dad to our son, and said, we love you. Those spending time with the monarch, 93, have one very strict rule to follow, which is to avoid speaking about the Sussexes, who recently skipped a trip to Balmoral. Journalist Quinton Letts revealed the taboo topic his friend was told to avoid mentioning on social media. He tweeted, friend of an acquaintance was about to go riding with HMQ. Was given v firm advice talk about anything except one subject. Brexit. No the Sussexes. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are the Queen's neighbors, as they moved into Frogmore Cottage in April to be close to Harry's grandmother's Windsor Castle abode. The Surrey mansion is undergoing major building works, including a 4,000 pounds outdoor seating and cooking area. According to the Daily Mail, royal sources claim the couple have installed a cozy outdoor entertainment area with patio decking and lovely countryside views. Their five-bedroom property, which was a gift from the Queen, was said to have required a substantial overhaul before they were able to move in earlier this year. The subsequent refurb has cost taxpayers a whopping £2.4 million, sparking fury from campaigners. The couple's new residence now boasts a designer kitchen and a refitted bathroom. They have also had new heating, wiring, and utilities completed, although it was previously reported Harry, 35, asked the Queen to live in Windsor Castle with her and Prince Philip. But it may be hard for the Queen to not mention anything about Prince Harry, as it is his birthday today. Meanwhile, Meghan's career is proving to be a huge success following the launch of her Smart Works collection. There's even talk the former Suits actress could be relaunching her lifestyle blog The Tig 2, watch this space.